meeting. Welcome to the Board of Selectmen's meeting for February 23rd. I ask everyone to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. I will entertain a motion to ratify the payroll warrant for 1231-216 and approve the expense warrant for 223. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Entertain a motion to approve the selectmen's minutes for 114.15. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Entertain a motion to approve the Conservation Commission minutes for 11.17 and 2.15. Uh, 12.15, I'm sorry, and the Police Station Building Committee for 1.616, 1.20.16, and 2.316. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, no announcements on the agenda. You guys have any announcements? Mm -hmm. I will. If that's we don't need it, but uh, yeah, yeah, like. I will. I will. I will. Because we'll we'll talk about both of these topics probably under other. But it's just we can put it at the front end of this meeting. Is that the uh, there will be a meeting, an organizational meeting, cable access on March the 23rd at 6:30 in this room to talk about any the any uh, community volunteers that wish to participate in uh, the uh, cable access. And filming. And then the second is the master plan. We did have a meeting, but we've scheduled another meeting now for March 16th at 6.30. We have uh, four participants for the moment, so we need, we're looking for one more person to fill out that uh, organization. So if there's anybody that's interested in the implementation, master plan implementation, I uh, look forward to you joining us on March 16th at 6.30. So I saw you had two, plus we had yeah. one. We had, was the fourth? Uh, Maureen is also 2018. Okay. So we've got Maureen and Don that are 2018, and then the two new members I'd suggest are 2017 or 2019 when we move them to the to this board for approval. Okay. So we're just okay. looking. We actually have two other people that are interested. Is it a seven-member board? It's a five. Yeah. Five-member board. So is that Maureen <coughs> Lecap? Is that yeah. Last yeah. Name? And okay. she probably, because of her relationship with the planning board, yeah. will actually be the chairperson. Oh, so right. we just got to work through. That'll be at their discretion. We'll, get, get we'll just need one more. We'll, we'll put three on and we'll have a committee. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Good. Thank you, sir. Anybody wish to address the board this evening? Welcome, sir. Welcome. So March 23rd at 6.30, we're going to do cable access to see if we can get some other volunteers. And, yeah. then, and then the master plan implementation, March 16, and we're looking for a couple of fresh faces to join that. Board. What time is it? Both, both 6 30. 6 30. Right here. Yeah. Welcome, sir. You said that already. <laughs> Welcome again. <laughs> How may we help you? Yeah, I gotta give you, I'm going to give you guys another suggestion. Okay. I know you've heard it before, but I don't want to hear it again. Go for it. Go for it. Go, go. Bathrooms. Yep. You have the existing bathroom now, right? Mm-hmm. And we can take and put a bathroom in there, you take Jeff Taylor's, the building inspector's bathroom, make that into a bathroom. Put a small office in that far corner over there, have the high school do it, so it won't cost us anything. They can get training. <clears throat> Solves the problem. Um, and maybe we should, if, that, if you're not happy with that suggestion, no, you, whatever, you could take other suggestions as well. And maybe you could have a committee for a couple of nights. Just to, I'm, I'm committed out in the grounds to this. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying for two nights. Yeah. Just to, we're going we're gonna to discuss the town hall this evening and discussions that we have on the agenda. Um, my suggestion for bathrooms is going to fall under this three-member board, have a morning meeting, go over the plans, and start picking at it. And okay. See what we're and, go. And, and, I, and I don't like counter deals thought with yes, that's an idea. Yeah, uh, an, and, I'm, and, I'm not opposed to it. No, and, and, but and, and, isn't that where um, Jeff Taylor's office is in that where we had talked about putting in an elevator at yeah, one time? That, that's what's on the plan. Yeah. Yeah, you're still with that elevator. <clears throat> that should go on the outside of the building. Yeah, we're coming back to my way of thinking. Mm, Holy no. moly, Dave, well, this is great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't just I didn't teach you off from that. No, most of the old buildings now are doing it on the outside. On the outside. And yeah. they're getting the old brick, whatever the brick is on the building, they're matching it. Mm. Like Sturbridge, you can't even tell those elevators in there in those two buildings. Yeah. 
Okay. On this one, on this one, you will. We've we've gone over it multiple times. It was presented. It was right presented. In the corner, right it was, yeah. That was what was presented to the town, and uh, we can't keep building everything around the elevator. It might not happen. No. The, the only thing that we did, Steve, was, was the mistake of that plan, is that we took that elevator to the fourth floor, and that really was a mistake. It should have just gone to the well. What I would the, consider the, the second third, floor. The, it should have gone mm -hmm. just to the second floor. Well, that's what the, the interior floor. elevator is going to do as well. Yeah. Well, three floors, including the basement. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And again, because we we went all the way to the roof. That that was the four million dollar plan, which David was not a, did not agree with. Well, and, obviously the town didn't agree with that. And, and the town did. So I mean, that, but well, again, that, a that good cost, a you know. good portion of that four million bucks was in fact taken all that all the way to the roof. So that was we were going to renovate the, the Masons Hall. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what was the elevator? Nine hundred, was it? Yeah, of the nine, <coughs> of the four, well, three point something million. Or yeah. whatever. Well, for the whole package, yeah. you, I mean, I heard, I mean. Five million, four the, million. The million. Yeah, the cost. I lost track. I think it got down to three, two, or three yeah. something. The cost has never really fluctuated from inside to outside. To me, it's aesthetics and putting an elevator on the back just would kill this building. Right yeah. now, it's symmetrical. Well, I mean, I think you, you, uh, uh, hold it in reserve. I mean, the, yeah. the, 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 the thought that because of, and David makes a good point. Yeah. Because you now and we have the police station here. We've done such a great job with the parking lot. You really have two sides of the building that you didn't have before. I mean, you you now have you've got a way to look at this building not just one dimensional, mm -hmm. you know, street street side. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm a carpenter, so I've always looked at the whole package. So yeah, but I'm just saying I'm, I'm the guy that puts shutters on the yeah. back of my house as well. So. Okay, yeah. good plan. So and, and the only thing is now coming up proudly and looking up up here, it looks nice. It does look look nice. And it really does. Yeah. The guys did a great job. Yeah. Landscape. Yes, so we're going to table that for a future morning meeting. All right, I got one other suggestion. Okay. The plans that you're working off of, throw them away. We've heard that multiple times. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Or shred them up, put them in the in the uh, unisex bathroom. All right. Is that <laughs> it? Thank you. Sir. Oh, well, then while you're sitting here, uh, yes. you had a meeting with the highway department. If I can jump ahead just for a minute, it, it, with respect to the highway department meeting that you had, yes, they did not bring forward any monies for catch basin. And for cleaning. For cleaning. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And 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 uh, last last year you did not bring the advisory did not move forward with uh, taking some uh, catch basin clean up money. Well, we approved Chapter ninety money for a truck. Yeah. Also true, and yeah. that's part of the mix. Mm -hmm. But right. should we have to do something, and we actually have an action where we're going to force the state to do something on one forty eight to do the clean up over there, and we talk about that now or later, but. Uh, what happened is there's uh, some lots that are going to be used and part of the lot, one of the lots, the drainage would come across that lot and with it, the uh, conservation guys looked at the catch basins in that area and they're chock-a-block full I mean, that's yeah. because we haven't maintained them. And so what Herb's going to do before the uh, 148 gets worked upon is to assure that the state cleans the catch basins as a part of the preparation for their work. So we're kind of bagging them a little bit. But the reality is, we probably ought to have whether it's the ten grand they asked for the last time, or twenty five hundred, or some <coughs> some amount of money to have where so if we get where's Herb in the process of obtaining a cash uh, station truck? I not. I mean, he's got our approval on the monies, but he's he's struggling desperately on the truck. And again, we talked about that the other day, where uh, the idea of having cabin chassis and coming forward with that not working out. On well, that was that's a different vehicle. Well, and again, how, right. how we want to mix and match is yeah. really where we are So now. he wants to, uh, you, the, the two separate vehicles, the yeah, one yeah. that we allocated for the one yeah. at the special yeah. and the Chapter 9, that mm -hmm. we, those are two completely separate vehicles. You can't even mix and match those things. Well, it's, it's what do we do first or what, what comes available first. Yeah. And, and again, right now, what's not coming, mm -hmm. coming forward is the catch basin truck, though certainly we're, we're asking and suggesting that that be a good idea. And I know we tried to borrow one last year and, and they wouldn't come up and, and help, nobody not, would help them out. That's correct. And so I, and again, I just turned to David because you met with him the other night. Say, right. say he's going to send Beth an email that says, put some money aside for catch basin maintenance. Okay. And whether it's five or ten or something, but at least have it in the pocket. So if we run into a situation where... Well, they're going to need to clean some of them. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, oh, and again, they look forward to doing that as well. Are they moving forward to this just catch basic truck? The money's monies are going to come out of Chapter 90, right? That's They've already correct. approved it. Yes, yeah. and he just can't find the right. How much? Oh, okay, you did. And you also approved. We also approved money for the used dump right. truck, which and he's yeah. having trouble yeah, finding. Yeah, he yeah, because I attended the um, the highway meeting when they. I mean, the advisory board meeting when the highways there, and they're having a hard time finding a truck. Right, right. So They've been all over. Yes. For that kind of money. Yeah, for that kind yeah. of money. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So anyway, just don't want to give you yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. We'll Thank add you. that in Thank when you. we get the paperwork. Yeah, she's she's out this week, okay. so it'll be next week. Anybody else wants to address the board? Item number one, oil tanks. It's been a busy uh, two to three weeks in the basement. I've heard. Oh, yeah. So it's, I've been up it's there. It's absolutely so. amazing. Yeah. It still reeks of oil. The uh, plastic is still up. The uh, 50 gallon drum is still down there. Cat litter still in the bases. Yeah. But uh, we have a lot to uh, talk about. <coughs> um, I've met with a couple of contractors. Um, I had discussed with Karen and the contractor from McDonald. Um, the email itself is where we're going to start first. Linda requested us putting this on the yeah. agenda because she thinks we need to do it. Yeah. I'm going to voice strongly that we do not do any Which, of these. You don't want to the, do any of The them. email. The email? So to break the email, that you have the one clearance that says Karen on top. It's yep. got two different estimates. One's for, I'm going to say for rounding numbers, $870. Oh, yeah. okay. What that is, is downstairs during the conversion, uh, we have three tanks downstairs that yep. service yep. both both units. Mm -hmm. uh, we converted the one that does the majority, which is forced hot water, uh, to gas. Yeah. So that's gas now. So mm -hmm. what the contractor did is literally disconnect the piping completely, cap the top of one of the tanks. So now the only the middle tank is feeding the one yeah, that's that only supplied. Yeah, that was explained to me last week from okay. the guy from McDonald's. So yeah. it's, it's supplying the hallway and that's the yeah. forced air system. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's um. It's on its last leg as far as I'm concerned. It's it's a dinosaur down there, but that's another conversation for yeah. another day. The, the tanks, and, the well, tanks. Again. No, not the tanks. The tanks are pretty yeah. new. The, the unit itself. The unit itself. That's, that's using the oil still. Yeah. Okay, all right. So that, all that's right. got an oil burner on it. Okay. Um, the first estimate for the $870 is to take all of those three tanks and make them into one feed. Okay. So yeah. instead that's what he had of instead of all instead of all instead of just the one that's being serviced now, have all three. It, and he said that they would like flow in evenly whenever well, the furnace calls for it the goes, oil. It goes to a regulator and then it comes out. Right. Yeah, that's what he explained. He'd lower the regulator, mm -hmm. um, and then pipe it. But the reality is, we're mostly gas. That's a very short. That's one area to cover. Yeah. And, and the, I'd flip it around the other way if the furnace is old and not efficient in the first place. Yeah. We go third one to gas and just move on. So this this is where I'm at with, with the conversion to getting all three tanks to save 700 bucks. It, it, and that's where I'm at. Lin, Linda yeah. says she wants to because apparently he was a better salesman to her than to me. Well, 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 if, if we had was, a greater demand, yeah. Linda, I'd well, agree with you. Well, but we don't have well the thing demand. was how he explained it to me also. He said that you had talked to him about like draining the tanks well, that into one, and he says that would that would cost us about a hundred dollars an hour. And he says it's more money to do something like it, that. It's going to cost us zero because yeah. I've obtained the use of of a pump where I can oh, just okay. go down there and physically do you it myself. Do it oh, okay. But this snowballs even further. Mm -hmm. Sleeping on it, I think it would be a good idea. And I've asked Karen to go out to three individuals uh, to get bids on converting that mm -hmm. to gas. Oh yeah. That so to let's gas let's also. just get all okay. get. All oil out of this building. Absolutely. Right gas. I mean, oil, the gas was down to a dollar seventy something. Because I know the last today. week we've yeah. been having so many problems. It was another problem here yeah. today. But it, it's going to be another well, we got to get into that as well. It's, yeah. This is a laundry list tonight. Okay. Um, so I would like not to accept this estimate. And this next estimate here on that email for the fourteen hundred dollars. <coughs> Is to take those pipes that feed the tank, mm -hmm. which when were when they were installed were up to code. Okay. Mm -hmm. Today's code standards are not, but these are grandfathered. We okay. literally don't have to yeah. touch them. Okay. But if you touch them, you got to bring them to yeah. code. But they were never touched. The fill, the fill, and the vent on the tank. And he's only bringing this up because the person that pumped the oil, that spilled the oil twice now, is yeah. liable 100 yeah. percent. Sure. Um, yeah. The, the alarm on the tanks, they do work, they're there. Mm -hmm. He wasn't listening, yeah. or he bypassed one of them, 
And no, no, like I say, it's at least the second time that yeah. I know of. Oh, it is. So as far as I'm concerned, this $1,400 is moot. I don't even know why okay. they presented it. That's just the fill tank, the fill lines, and the vent lines. Yeah, but, but again, if we're moving to gas, we're if we're going to move to gas, I didn't realize we were talking about moving to gas. And, and they were code when they were installed. So yeah. now, do we have any other oil on the campus? Just we only have two of those burners downstairs. One's gas just for now, this, yeah. and then the other one's for the this oil. building. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, how about Peter's building? Yeah, that's Peter, I, I think that's he, gas. I think Peter and you're and, all gas. No. No. Yeah. So he's got oil in his, and I think oil over on the EMS as well. Correct. Oh. It's the same building and it's a lot of So there's only one. Building is still oh, I thought we were converting one of yours to gas we also. Did con we did convert one. We did the former highway garage into gas. Oh, okay. That unit was circa 1960, so. So should we? I think we take small bites. Well, I don't have a problem oh, yeah. with small bites, but I think we need to tell the folks that that's the plan, is yeah. in small bites over the next two or three yeah. years to move everything to yeah. gas. But in, instead of spending $2,000 here oh, to do things that we don't have to do, we, we okay. can spend the money. Yep. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll agree with that if okay. you go to talk about doing gas. All right. Um, so on the proposal that was submitted today, that was with a meeting this, this afternoon that I met with, what's his name, John? John? John yeah, yeah okay. John was the one I met with last week also. Right, we went down and took the tour again for the okay. fifth time in two weeks. Um, option one and option two were the first one. Mm -hmm. He brought up option two because there's actually a, a half inch line there already mm -hmm. that's feeding the old one that just okay. cut and capped. Mm -hmm. Um, my recommendation was if we were going to go with this, if you, if Linda really pushed to connect yep. those three tanks, we could use that existing line, which you can see would save us $500. Mm -hmm. okay. And that was the second option there. Okay. So we're just going to avoid option one and option two. Option three was a new issue <coughs> Friday when I met with um, the plumber to uh, tie in the septic to the old bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, FYI, that's going to be starting tomorrow, Good. and it's going Good. to be finished Thursday. I was able to actually save the town over six hundred dollars, potentially oh, even more. So it good. was it was worth a week or two mm -hmm. to, to okay. negotiate. Right. So that'll be completed tomorrow. I mean Thursday started tomorrow, uh, but in that tour Friday, <coughs> the overflow for the uh, new gas conversion a unit, um, the regulator, it's kind of old, needs to be replaced. Uh, to replace that, you can see in this estimate, you can see the relief valve itself. Yeah, this is, is option three. Yeah. Okay. You can see that the relief valve is 140. These yeah. are all material. All um, reasonable. And mm -hmm. then based on his hourly rate, the total job is $2,111.56 based on this. I have his assurance that if it's under <coughs> the eight hours, that we're just going to get charged time and material. They literally have to drain down the whole system. Mm -hmm. If any valves through this, there's tons of valves down there. If yeah. any valves are found to be faulty, T touch they, they touch have, them, you're gonna, oh, yeah. they have oh, yeah. to be replaced there, as well. There. So this will go up as well. Yep. So I, I'm not comfortable with a dollar amount, but I would like to entertain a motion based on proposal of option three to, uh, to allow McDonald Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing to begin work on said project. Yeah. Well, I'll, make, yeah. I'll make that motion. Second. Um, and then I'll just be on top of this, I'll manage okay. it, and we'll, we'll be mm -hmm. with Good. We, we've got to fix this. I mean, we can't keep having McDonald's out there. Mm -hmm. A couple times last week, they're out again. <coughs> well, this, is, we this, is a com this is a complete different issue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the issue last week with a frozen pipe, mm -hmm. in my opinion, was based on a broken window broken upstairs, window. Oh, yeah. okay. which I'm going to commend Karen. I'm going to commend Karen. A million times over, we have a great administrative assistant. I know she did an excellent job. Work, work, working over the weekend to yeah. take care of this is definitely far and she, above good. and beyond. Because she had, I had talked to her, she had called me, and she went above and beyond, and I complimented so, so her. She did a wonderful job. Thank you, Karen. Um, so with that said, Linda, it's it, it's a okay. it, it's a snowball. It's okay. This this building is old, obviously. I I, I argue that we do maintain it, we take care of it, yes. but these are unforeseen issues. Mm -hmm. We could do a lot better, okay. but we could have a lot more money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. We could throw money after this left and right, um, but this is an issue. It has to be taken care of. I'm comfortable with yeah. with the uh, itemization and the progress. Yep. So what you said it was two thousand what? Based on this, two thousand one hundred eleven dollars and fifty six cents. But it could be more and it could be less. It could be more because of the valves. It yeah. could be less mm -hmm. because of man hours. Yeah. Man hours that it takes to do it. Would so, be less. are we going to discuss tonight or at, an, at another time about you know what's going to cost us to do the conversion for? Well, she has. She's just went out to bed 
Was it oh, yesterday? Okay. We had okay. some today. Okay. Okay. And um, expect to. At, into the week, at least two more. Good. So, okay. so that discussion. Well, with this motion on the floor, I'll entertain them. Well, we already did it. Yeah. We have a motion. motion. All in yeah. favor. Aye. 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 So we'll get going on okay. that. Can you Good. inform John that uh, he can start okay. as soon as possible on this? I would ask him to schedule it after Thursday, possibly okay. Friday or on, so they're not running into each other. Because okay. Fran's going to need a lot of room down there. Um, well, he did talk about. He did say that he could come this week. And he said if I called him tomorrow, he would try to come out tomorrow. But if I'll postpone it, if you If can. you could postpone it. It's, it's not a major okay. issue. Okay. If you could just postpone it to at least Friday, right. just so we can give Fran. It's, it's not, there's nothing That's worse fine. than bumping into each other down there. And it's, it's a long run that he's going to do with the whole building. Um, in regards to the estimates, the estimates are just going to be a barometer like we did last year for, for a warrant. Mm -hmm. Would have to put that on the uh, either the special yeah, or the annual. Yeah, the special, the annual, just like we did last year. Yep. And we have okay. more than enough oil to last, so I don't oh, think yeah. we have to have much delivery. Right? No, you want to run it up. Yeah. All right, so let me get my ducks in a row. That's that. Okay. That's that. He's coming. <coughs> he's coming for this, like I said. So we're good with the sewer line. The stuff is under other. Oh, that's good. Any other discussions on oil tanks and everything? No, I think we're all set. Okay. Not right now because you're still going out. So um, let's put that under other. All right. Item number two, appointments. Um, we had a request from our animal control officer to appoint a a um, assistant animal control officer. Um, looking back through the records, we have had one in the past, and yes, there is money have. for it. Yeah. So I'll entertain a motion to appoint uh, Sarah. Help me, Linda. Is it Purdue? Purdue. Pr I'm going um, to say Purdue, and mm -hmm. anybody that yeah, knows me knows yeah, I can't probably. pronounce my own last yeah. name, so no offense. Uh, entertain said motion. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Any none all in favor? Uh, yep. Yeah. One second before I take a vote. Yep. Yeah. There's only six hundred thirteen dollars in there for for an assistant. I don't know if she plans on doing less of the work. She talked to me. She wanted to split her budget. So I don't know where she's at. She hasn't returned any calls. So I don't know if she's planning on on not. That's to me. That's one of Betty's strong attributes is that she's not going to let it go over. So. Right. Okay. Well, you did tell me that she was planning on taking some time and get her to. Well, that would be between system. them. Yeah. Right. Also, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to appoint Cameron Caldwell as a volunteer firefighter to expire on June 30th, 2019. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Entertain a motion to appoint Brendan Hawes as a volunteer. Chief, is this a firefighter or a volunteer firefighter? Right. They just say firefighter on it. So I made this motion for volunteer. So volunteer firefighter, uh, term to expire June 30th, 2019. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Mm. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Entertain a motion to appoint uh, Jesse Fimian as a volunteer fighter to expire June 30th, 2019. Okay. I'll make that motion. Second. Yeah, second. Yeah. Any discussion? Aye. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Mike said that he would like um, them to sign that. Yeah. At the, at the there's bottom, a space for them. Yeah. They have the ethics. Then, Chief, there's, there's a copy of ethics in here if you can give them to them when they come in and sign. Thanks. <laughs> Item number three special use permits. Entertain. Maybe you can see this. No, we're, we're going to hold them until we get the, the oh, third okay. person. All right. once, once we're official on the three oh, land. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I right. don't want to see it anymore until we have uh -huh. the Because I thought, I, thought the, those were, I thought that those were in uh, the appointments no. today. No, I, I oh, asked okay. Kevin to no. keep them out. Okay. The suggestion was okay. to do them all together. All right. That's a good idea. Entertain a motion to approve a permit application for the Lunker Landers for 823.16 on South Pond, 24 vehicles, 530 to 230. I'll make the motion. I'll second it. Discussion? Yeah, we'll get it. Whether uh, this one or the others, um, the whole notion of catch and release and whatnot, to, that we are on record that yeah. we promote catch and release, 
I heard this. I did, oh. did you hear this through Karen? Or yeah, well, okay. Karen and I talked, and I yeah. just because someone had brought it up to my attention last weekend. Well, it sounds like the biologist was probably a little callous in his approach. So did the, you hear the same thing from yeah, other people? Yeah, yeah. Okay. and so uh, given that background, seeing how it was the biologist that was involved, and I'm sure they've had it as a learning experience, yeah. I mean, you'd want to continue those kinds of things. Yeah. On the flip side, because of the numbers that I've been seeing with, with the I, permits, I, was, I wasn't going to entertain any of these until I was assured that yeah. it was not happening. Yeah, yeah. And, and again, it sounded yeah. like a single event. Yeah. Now, on the flip side, because of the numbers of permits that we do see yeah. coming through, I'm wondering in our correspondence back through that if we're not uh, uh, official in, in what we're saying, that we have some sort of communication that that is our preference. Yes. That was just yeah. one thing. But thought. like with the one there that people complained about, like with the Lions Club, that's been a practice that they've done for years. And again, you're dealing with a biologist who's trying yeah. to educate, and, yeah. and again, they, you, you just hope that they're yeah. doing it appropriately. Mm -hmm. That's the first complaint I've ever heard sitting yeah. in this chair. So. Yeah. yeah, same yeah. with me this year was the first complaint because yeah. somebody I had a couple people talk to me about. So too. it wasn't just a random. Yeah. yeah. Um, with, um, so we accepted? Yeah, we have all a second. Of, yeah. You need all a right, vote. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. 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 Before I hand this over, the Lunker Landers would like 824 for South Pond for the same amount of vehicles, same time. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 So there's two here, Clint. Detain a motion to approve the permit application for the North Bass Alliance February, I mean, I'm sorry, April 27th, 2016 for South Pond, seven vehicles, 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing yep. none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to allow permit application for September 10th, 2016 to Quaybog, Quaximant Pond? Qua yeah, Qua is that how you pronounce it? Quasimeth. Uh, number of vehicles zero. Oh, they're on the lake. Oh, this is, it's That's on the lake. lake. It's a That's canoe kayak oh, event that they have. That's the, yes. Canoe kayak event yeah. from yes. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yep. It's yep. their boat parade. Okay. So I'll detain said motion. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, same date to detain a motion to allow the same organization. The same date, the same pond, this time 35 vehicles from 10 to 4. It should be one for South Pond. Yeah, yeah, they're both the same yeah, pond. Yeah, they're slashed. They're one for Quaybog and one for... Oh, Quaybog. Okay, you're yeah. right. I'm just seeing the queue. So yeah. two separate bodies of water. Mm -hmm. Same day, same yeah. times. Mm-hmm. Is it to answer the motion? I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Nope. Any none all in favor? Aye. I think this is the first year that we have had, I've never seen so, so many, many permits, you know, like for this, these bass. So I think that's a second annual poker one. Yeah, this yeah. is. That, this is. I mean, this is an every year event that they do, but I mean, but the, the bass events, it's an unbelievable issue. Good. Okay. All right, and there are other. Nothing in this folder because I took out the gas for that, but I do have other issues. Um, Karen brought up the roof. There was noticeable slate that was falling oh, off. Um, I had requested Karen to uh, go out to three individuals for bid to replace slates. Uh, one of those is going to be uh, Mr. Taft's connection. Yeah, and then the other, yeah. one, the other one came out too. I'm waiting for the one other person came out. I'm waiting for his estimate. And it's really hard to find a person who works with slates. No. So they yeah. replace yeah. something else. But I did find one other man. And he said he would come out within the next couple of weeks because he, he's gone out to where. Okay. And he said he'd stop by. Mm. Let me know, so I'm confident. Uh, same, same desire is to place this as an article yeah. on a special well, committee. Because yeah. yeah. it's got to be fixed. It's dangerous having the slate. Fall. All right. Um, through our department head meeting last month, well, actually this month, our last department head meeting, uh, one of the issues was the IT. And I stated that I reached out to Deb Boyd. Um, I requested a meeting with all three individuals plus Ms. Boyd, mm -hmm. who's the assistant superintendent. Mm -hmm. We met this morning in the town hall. Uh, a couple employees in the in the conversation. Um, basically, what we discussed and, and concurred is that a help <coughs> a help desk program application be implemented, so anybody in the building can go in. It'll be right there. Not only do the two IT individuals that. Uh, deal with the issues in this town mm -hmm. hall, see it, but their boss will see it, and there'll be 
just not the emails, but there'll be a, a higher communication. Yeah. So you'll have some tracking? Yeah, so exactly. we can understand yeah. what we're I doing. assume that the emails will be tracking, but this is... But, but it's some sort of tracking, yeah. so this we can very, see where we are. very specific. Okay. Yeah, because like with the help desk, I remember when I was town clerk, we had our help desk with the state. You'd call them and they would give you like a ticket number right. and everything. So, it, so will it be on a similar thing? thing? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so, um, so yeah. there'll be uh, emails sent out for training on that if we need to train mm -hmm. it. To me, it just, it's just, okay. anyone that's computer but, literate can walk through it. It's like an email. Yeah, but you get some rack, you've got a record so that you can see where yeah. we are. Yeah, and if we, we need to make too. a change, we gotta make a change. Mm -hmm. So so that was, that was and Marlene Burbank recommended that, so kudos oh, okay. to her. Mm -hmm. um, so moving forward, I, I'm 50 50 with it. I think it's more paperwork, but if. if no, you've got to have some process yeah, you, stuff. Yeah, yeah. you've got to have some. Um, I was looking through some things today at home, and I happened to come up with this. Now, this was a contract between the towns of Brimfield, Brimfield and the district. Now, is this the same contract that we have with Tantasco? I would confirm that with with Karen. If, if I remember correctly, we just we don't have it's it's an hourly a rate service contract per se. It's we don't an have anything. Rate. This it's was something from we we come across. I don't know. I, I came across say, that when I was looking through some, some things today. It's it's basically just an hourly rate. So so we don't I, have. I, I think this is this was a yeah was exactly. This, just, this is what we discussed when we were deciding to go with them. They gave us a sample contract. Oh, okay, the, the this one is that they what have that with was. I think they gave us. I think it's the same exact identical one with okay. Sturbridge as well. Okay. So the only you're talking an hourly contract, but no. This is it, what. Okay. Uh, that, the that only thing that triggers me yeah. are um, oh. certificates to use different programs. Yeah. All of the so somewhere we're catching that we're, we've got money set aside for we, we would have to pay but this the the meeting this morning snowballed and a bigger discussion mm -hmm. and oh, we found okay. out that website issues are not Tantasco's issues there are volunteer issues um karen had reached out to that gentleman and hopefully we'll have i'm assuming we don't have an answer yet but we'll we'll, we'll, have, an yeah. we'll have an answer and yeah. that how much is willing to do because we'd be able to pay him but and that, yeah. and that that conversation led to the desire to possibly getting quotes for this year's budget. Good, good. Okay. All right. I did, All right. Send, I did send a quote request to Tantasco. Now, to um, we're responsible, aren't we, for some of the different backup systems? Backups, one hundred percent. And that yeah. that's that's where the website has to come into play because that's where we're getting them from. And oh, okay. backup, and aren't we responsible for the firewall one too? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and. Okay. And then we should have also, we should have an acquisition um, line item too, in case we have to have any kind of computer acquisitions or things like that. Bring that to the budget meeting. Okay. But some of those answers will be answered through the uh, emails that went out today. Mm. Okay. Good. All right. Um, spoke with Scott Mansfield physically today. Um, he came down to my office. We um, got in touch with Cody. Cody this morning said that they were going back and forth in regards to the video monitoring. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Mansfield needs his assistance to link into that <coughs> so okay. Karen can see remotely yeah. from the cameras and stuff. Oh, okay. go downstairs. Okay. So they've actually spoken today. I've been CC'd on emails and texts, mm -hmm. and we're good. So okay. they're moving forward good. there. Um, also spoke with Mr. Segan today, who's the carpentry instructor up at Tantasqua. Um, requested that Tantasqua gets involved with ADA compliance in this building that we set oh, set cool. aside money for. Mm -hmm. Thresholds, back door and whatnot, obviously bathrooms okay. not there yet. Um, him with his senior class is not available for the rest of the year, but he's going to uh, go to the sophomore and junior teacher who actually helped us with the roof, so we have a good working relationship with okay. him. So I'll, I'll be in touch with him to try to get the uh, ADA threshold issues yeah. resolved before they get out this year or at the beginning of next year. September. We good? Any other others? Um, I have still, you know, over this computer issue, I mean, I mean, I know it's, it's being dragged out, but I mean, I know a lot of the different department heads here in the town hall, they're not, you know, they're not just happy with Tantasco. I, I think, I, correct me if I'm wrong, Karen, the meeting kind of cleared some things up today. Yes, no? Perhaps they did. I don't know. I, I might have. I, I don't know. You'd have I, to talk to the other 
they have people in there. Because I've had a few of them voice opinions After to me. After this morning? Yeah, that's still not all that happy with uh, Tantasco. I, I don't see how you can still walk out of a meeting like that and say I'm not happy. It's, it's well, I think everyone has concerns. I yeah, mean, they, they, it's yeah, one thing to have, have some con agreements yeah, in a they, meeting. Is the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. The, well, Because <coughs> they all have what, some concerns. Let, Linda, Linda, one of the issues is that we were notified that there was going to be an upgrade on Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, that individual didn't email Tantasco until Tuesday. Okay. And then that was the day it was going to be installed. It, it should have been done when they knew about it. Um, and then we, that was VADAR itself. Okay. And then we went back to Unibank issue. Um, Tantasco even knew about Unibank because the other towns were doing it. Okay. And they weren't notified until the pop-ups mm -hmm. came up and oh, said, right. we have to do it. So, so that there has to be equal communication between both parties. Yeah. They, they can't expect it to turn a dime. You know, that there no. is a 24-hour yeah. notice. But, but that gets back to the process. Yeah. I mean, having a help, de help desk, yeah. help ticket, whatever, okay. and saying, this is what we're going to be doing. This is the time of notification. This is, and if, if we're short on notification, shame on us. Yeah. And then on the flip side, shame on them if we were f forward. Yeah, so, right so again, there, having the yeah. data, we can make good decisions. Mm -hmm. and, that's, that was, and that's why I'm surprised of this, is because that's, where that, yeah. that's exactly what the conversation this morning led to. The feedback was it. it mm -hmm. Well, you I get some. Still they, right. they you were, get there's history. still some concerns. Now, I know that there are a couple other departments that aren't here in the, within the town hall, and I guess they're not going to use Tantasco. Can they do that? Yeah, we approve the police to do what they're doing, and the yeah. highway does what they're doing. Yeah, so. <coughs> but I'm, I'm going to make an argument that there was a contract involved that nobody but the Board of Selectmen can sign with the services. Yeah, we signed, well, we approved. We didn't approve a town hall. I mean, a um, highway barn contract for that individual. They've had they've had their ongoing, which I'm not opposed to. But yeah. what backed us into a corner here was that there was a desire to sign a contract and displace ten thousand hmm. dollars, which I believe is illegal in Massachusetts to pay in full for any services before. I didn't read, I didn't read it that way. No, no, no. I don't. Know. I don't. Know. I, don't know. I don't get that. No, I don't think that this uh, the the other person that had approached us. I don't think he wanted to sign a contract, but I don't think he wanted the money up front. That's how I read it. it was no. Nine thousand. Well, maybe it's just a misunderstanding. Yeah, I didn't think he wanted it up front. I didn't read it that way, Steve. I didn't read it that way. That's how I read it. And then there was a set amount of hours, and ironically, in that contract, if you read through the proposal. Mm -hmm. Um, the issues that we're talking about here are normal issues, and there's a 48-hour to a 24-hour window of response as well. So even in the contract, mm -hmm. we're within professional norms. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, again, right. you get a help help ticket kind yeah. of thing we'll in see. place, yeah. and, and we'll see and where it goes. See, yeah, we'll that was see part of the discussion works. from yeah. weeks ago, is to see what we can do and move okay. forward. All right. And I, I'm taken aback that they're not as well, satisfied from that. So. Again, this history. Yeah. You have to fight through it. Right. Um, any other other? Uh, so. You, you already mentioned the local cable and the master plan. Yeah, I got those two, then that, that's good. Oh, uh, welcome signs, the four, the four letters did go out. Right. The interesting thing, uh, knowledge from that coming back, is that uh, the Carmilla property was actually two parcels, and the bank only took one parcel, not the second. So actually, I do have to go to the Fitzpatrick's for the second letter, for, or for the a, a letter to them for the one that's uh, on Route 9 coming into town. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, when Mr. J gets back from uh, his holiday, the sign should be ready. Okay. So, and that's that's that one. Now, did I see something? They're gonna have the um, the Brookfield? He's talking to the Mom? garden garden club as far as the perpetual maintenance. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, I mean, like the Brookfield seal on it? Oh, yeah. That yeah. is seals going to go on. on. Yep. Well, seals on it. Okay. Well, welcome to Brookfield. And welcome to Brookfield. Yeah. Simple the, as that. The okay. design, the design I, Clarence had it in the letter. Yeah, yeah. I put it Yeah, I happened to see it. Yeah. Okay. I, I met with him a couple months ago, and he showed me the design. Yep. Okay. So that that's good. So now, uh, back to our discussion about uh, bathrooms and the like, just as a wild one. You're getting some quotes from the Tantasqua folks as far as how to parse this, the construction out, and getting quotes, am I correct? I, I was supposed to, but he's his back's against the wall with the crew that he has for this year, so it's not going to be. But you're getting quotes. I mean, your, that, that, your vision yeah. is the, getting the, quotes. The desire is to get Tantasco to do it. Right. Yeah. So can I ask you, because we, we again hear unisex, can I ask the idea of that plan, and again, we'll have the morning meeting and chat more about yeah. it, 
but the other idea would be to get a quote for what would be another bay that's here where we're sitting and, and get that quote as well so that we understand what the because the other th the other thing that I think I'm also getting at from the feedback is a misunderstanding that what was in that design was to com to take care of bathrooms for the whole building, it, not it's it for the whole right? building. And yeah. so I'm, what what I'm what I'm hearing or think I am hearing is that oh we can do it with a few less uh, slots and those kinds of things, where in fact the design was for the building. So again, where you maybe it's overkill for what you're doing today. It's not necessarily overkill for the whole. It, and that's why we have to we have to either stay firm with that plan yeah. or move to a different one. Yeah. And I'm all for that. It, but yes. but again, I'm thinking if we have more numbers than less, we're probably in better shape. But the issue the issue that that's that's the elephant in the room right now is that sink. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> you guys have been downstairs. That that yeah. sink it dies down there and it goes to that cesspool. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I, I continue not to be invited to Board of Health meetings. Uh, we received a letter that the tie-in has to be made before the end of this month or they're going to close mm -hmm. the town hall. Uh, it's overkill. Um, it stated that the the blockage was a result of not tying in, which is just, um, and, and perception is everything out there. And I, I called Mr. Leahy and I let him know that, you know, in no uncertain terms, that's not the case. That's stated in that letter. Um, the letter also stated that that cesspool has to be collapsed by April 1st. Well, that's not going to happen. Which, which puts that sink in jeopardy. Mm. The plumbing inspector has okayed with that breaker vent to okay. use that cesspool. I did call Dan this morning. I haven't gotten a call back to see if we can extend that because the, the chapter and verses that he keeps stating in the mm -hmm. letters allows the Board of Health to give permission to do that. And with just one sink, Going into that, I don't see how there's an issue. In infrequent use at best. Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, the elephant is that if that sink goes, it's going to inconvenience a lot of people mm -hmm. in this building. So we, yeah. and again, we may have to do something differently as far as waiting and on construction. That's, that's yeah. why I want to meet to go over the plans. Yeah, because what's offset are a couple different rooms, um, i.e., the bathroom is slated to be something else that we can't do right now. Right. So it, it has to it has to be a firm and decisive plan. Are we going to move forward with what we have, and then how we're going to implement it? So well, that, that's I, that would be what the meeting would be about. Yeah, and I'd almost go to take advantage of the town meeting to make sure everybody's completely on board that that's the direction we're going, yeah. so that we're and either up about or that, down. Either town meeting or maybe have a non-binding referendum. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Something's clear that yeah, we're, we're do because again, it wants to take years to do. Yeah. It's literally going to take years to do. Yeah. And so, if we're going to do it that way, this is the plan. Yeah. yeah. And, and then we can all be yeah. we can all either hate it or love it, yeah. but the vote was the vote. And it's got to be done in the fa different phases. Yes. That's got to be yeah. done in. That's what I say. Again. Yeah. And that's why we need to start the, the yeah. conversation. You have to. I'm good. Yeah. Um, I'd, I'd love to entertain discussion from people outside, but I think just mm. meeting the three of us yeah. and not entertaining discussion yet is, is where we need but to just, be. Okay. We need yeah. to be on board yes. yeah. before we start entertaining okay. outside. Yep. Yeah. But then move it to a public discussion. Well, we have to yeah. because yeah. the public, oh, it's, sure. it's, it's, this is their building, yeah. this sure. is their money. Yeah. Yeah. But once we have a plan, then that's what we need to bring them right. into. And we are probably, uh, I mean, there's just a bunch, I mean, Steve, yes, you do the best you can with what you have. Yes. But the, this town has so much deferred maintenance. Oh, 100%. And so we've just got to face the bullet. Yeah, we do we the best we can. So, speaking of <laughs> bullets, deferred maintenance, Sawmill Pond, you want to change subjects? Under other? Yeah, under other. Sawmill Pond, just FYI, we did get the picture, get a couple pictures in from the gal that said she was going to give us the more pictures yeah, of I saw how that. it would look. Mm -hmm. uh, the Plymouth example, if you saw it, yeah, it looks that. exactly like what we'd be looking mm -hmm. at. Um, the idea now is, um, and, and Bruce and Herb uh, went out on the ice and took some measurements. The rough depth of this, this thing is about 42 inches. That's rough depth. Anyway, um, the way, way it goes down, I think, is that we get this thing maintained in the, in the spring. There's going to have to be rented yeah. some equipment to clear the back of the spillway, get the pipe that's supposed to be draining, yeah. draining, and see where the, everything is. And it's supposedly that's been done in the past, but just hasn't been done for lots of years. Once that happens, it's going to be clear what that's going to look like. And it'll be, I think, it'll look nice. I mean, we'll see what the, what the butters say. 
But what it's really telling me with that depth dimension and whatnot and my limited engineering, I did get a degree in engineering, but it's been a while and it wasn't civil engineering. Uh, but as I look at this thing, that dam's probably going to, or spillway is going to probably have to come out. And with that, we, we need to turn around once we get everything down so we see what we're dealing with. We probably want to be going out for grants from that um, ecological yeah. whatever, whatever for the removal of the dam. That's probably yeah. end game. But again, it won't happen over this year, but I, we've for got the past years. couple of years, I think that's been the perceived. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and I think we just got to get get at yeah. it. And the first thing that we yeah. got to get at is clearing the spillway so that it actually functions the way it's supposed to function, because that might have helped us. So that's that one. And then um, I'll speak to the chief tomorrow, Roland Blaze, and the Brookfield Motors and the vehicles, the unregistered motor vehicles he, in he the parking lot. He sent me another letter today. I, I got another yeah. letter again. Did you get one too? So, and he wanted me to answer some questions from a town clerk's viewpoint. Okay. Well, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to check, check with the chief to see yeah. if he's gotten a hold of any, okay. anyone on that. But I, what I'm pursuing with him is that... Um, You'd like you'd like Brookfield Motors to just move the vehicles yeah. into the building, into the building, into the building, and it's just it. be done with it. However, it's if, if it goes that it doesn't happen, then uh, Mr. Blaze, I'm, I'm trying to convince Mr. Blaze to bring it uh, to a bylaw. It's the bylaw change. I've yeah. I've emailed him at least yeah. three times stating that it's a bylaw yeah. issue and has to be yeah. presented, and he actually stated that he would he would go that route. And yeah, and I, and again, I think we're doing this. That's yeah, why I want to I bring think, it up yeah. tonight. That I think. If you really and the neighbors want to pursue it, I think they should. Yeah. And go f go that's from why, there. That's why you're bylaws. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. Um, but at the same time, it's been proven by the zoning enforcement officer and the police chief that he's not violating the bylaws. He is not. Mm -hmm. So. And I, I and my correspondence back to him yeah. today is under the by the current bylaws. And he's, we've he's told within, him that, we've told him that several times. Yeah. He just doesn't like the answer. No, yeah. he well, doesn't. Yeah. And again, it's they're not doing business, but they're permitted to do business. Permitted to do business is business. Yeah. So. Because he mentioned in the one that he sent to me today about how he's got a class two license. And yep. So anyway, Can I so say something to that? Uh, okay. yeah, you got a business there. We're trying to keep businesses in town here. Now, you just put, now it sounds like it sounds like to me you're trying to put a hardship and change the laws just so a certain individual that has property bought me. Well, that's business. that. That's not true. What we what we're no. correct. Just, just hear me out. I, yes. I know it's. No, it's pretty clear what you're saying. You're trying to change things around. This guy is not happy. He's right on the he's right on the border of a business. So what he should do if those vehicles are bothering him is he should put a fence up on his side. Well, he's claiming that the onus is on the property owner to do that. Um, I I'm not an advocate to changing no. the bylaw. If you remember correctly, I believe the bylaw was voted in this very room. I think. Uh, um, I wasn't here. You just changed it. You <laughs> well, the original bylaw that, that we couldn't have certain uh, vehicles unregistered mm -hmm. on property, I think I was the only one that spoke out against it. And they always booed and all that good stuff. Now you're talking about a business. Now you're trying to put hatchets on a guy. It, 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 it's, it's personal property. I, I wouldn't support a change to the bylaw. I don't think mm -hmm. I supported the last one, the last change. I didn't vote for it. But the we have an individual that's a resident in town that pays taxes that has a complaint and we have to guide him towards what can be done to help him with this complaint because right now his complaint it's not falling on deaf ears it just can't mm -hmm. be enforced because right. the bylaws state that the business owner is within his rights yeah. due to the law so we recommend that if he wants to change that the proper avenue is the bylaw committee to present to the town yeah. we're, we're not advocating for a bylaw change we're just telling him how the process has to proceed well, and clearly, uh, there's no language. The difficulty yeah. is is to go from where you are with the bylaw to where yeah. he'd like to be. Yeah. There's no language to get there that is, is enforceable. So it's just a very difficult yeah. role to, to go. And again, I'm, I'm not looking to drive business out of town. And, I'm not, sure. and I'm not deferring, I'm deterring a taxpayer to proceed with his desires. Right. Yeah. right. And, uh, we need to guide. Which does bring up, we did uh, submit an application, speaking of business and growing business, we did submit a, uh, through CMRPC, uh, a downtown development grant. We, we're, we're pursuing it at the moment. Their score, the local retiree business types, uh, are interested in doing a project in this area that talks about some towns in the mid small towns Midwest have done some things to grow businesses in small towns like this. 
And so they want to do a seminar in the middle of March on best, best practices or, or the like from the Midwest to here. So uh, I'm probably going to join that discussion to see what they, the, they come up with and maybe we can tie that together with the CMRPC stuff and maybe we can learn something. So but It's not rocket science though, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's lower regulations, lower taxes, equals incentives for business. And, and what, those, what those businesses might be, what the, what the profile of the business looks like. Uh, kind of all, all the above. I wonder if that's the same one, the program, I walked around town with them a couple of years ago. It's the, set, the grant we're going after is, is what you is did. That one? Yeah. So we're I resubmitting walked, yeah. that. So we walked all some, around town. And they I'm, I'm not opposed to it to me yeah. right now, and, and, and I'm not trying to play politics, but that's why I ran for state representative, yeah. because of regulations. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. It, it, just in my business, the regulations, construction, driving, we look at two businesses that... Um, that could be potential restaurants yeah. that Brookfield doesn't have anymore. Mm -hmm. Just no one can afford it to bring it up to the state regulations. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, just discussion going to happen. We'll see if we learn something. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'm good. All right. Correspondence. Uh, Tantasco Regional High Schools informed us that Monday, March 14th at 6:30 p.m. at the Brookfield Elementary School, there will be a public hearing. For the uh, elementary school budget, there is a regular school committee meeting at 6 p.m. Um, I believe there's a proposed increase of like 1.43%. Yeah, that's about so it. So yeah. anybody that's interested in attending that meeting, again, Monday, March 14th, 6.30 p.m. at the elementary yeah. school. Any other business before this board? Mm -hmm. I think so. We good? I'd even motion to adjourn. I got a question yeah. before you go. Well, yes, sir. Mill, mill, the Mill Pond, oh, is, is that privately owned? You guys talked about lower and down. I understand the guy at Crocs Mansion. Only has the rights of it. Has anyone checked into that? He has rice. He owns rice reservoir. Oh, oh, you're talking to Fromes? From David Fromm. Yeah, sure. Yeah, he's no, not there. He's further up. Okay, so there's two of them. Is there two ponds up there? Or is there well, there, there's two pockets of water yeah. for sure. He owns the Fromm property where was the old Croc property. That's the rice reservoir they called it. Right. And then further down is Mill Pond. Oh, okay, so there's a difference there. Okay. Yeah. There, yeah, there are two bodies of water. Do they connect? Yes. Yeah. Oh. That's so. So. Right. Okay, so he controls. Yeah. Is it? Is it? I don't. I don't know about other controls. Yeah. I don't know about other controls. Well, he owns that. Yeah. yeah, he yeah, owns yeah. it, yeah. Well, and he's still looking for his permit and permitting to take the peat out. He's looking to dredge. Oh. Okay. And didn't they even, there was some talk that they wanted to dredge Mill Pond, too. They were willing well, to do that. If we can get the permits for the first yeah. piece and that, that's proven yeah. to work, mm -hmm. I think what yeah. we eventually want to do, yeah. I mean, though it would be a great gangbuster business, mm -hmm. he takes Pete out of there and he works himself into Mill Pond and he works his way, yeah. his way into Quay Block. <laughs> That'd be good? That would yeah. be huge. Yeah. It would be absolutely huge. As, as Bernie would say, huge. 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 <laughs> um, Huge the and then another thing I, I forgot all about it. I know they, when I attended the advisory board uh, last week and the highway was there, did um, the approval, did they get the approval down there on Mill Street? Because I know, I think, wasn't it the Army Corps Engineers was coming out yesterday? Ooh, it's on my calendar. That was, was it yesterday? yesterday? Yeah, ooh, I, ooh, I, I, I missed it then. Me too. I meant, I meant to be yeah, there. Need a better phone. So, yeah, I think so. I know if they talked, so I hope it got approved. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was her, I was with Herb today, and he didn't say anything. It was yesterday? No. Yeah. I thought it was the 22nd they were coming out. No. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah. 22nd? 22nd. Then, I, then I, I didn't put it so on So I calendar. hope it got approved. With everything. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I, we did it, it, well, the don't, good don't, news don't is they did Don't be sure about the Army Corps of Engineers. No. <laughs> well, and maybe I'm, I'm not thinking Army Corps. I'm thinking from a mass complete street yeah. thing. They did it based on the rules of complete yeah. street, which is terrific. Yeah. Yeah, to have incorporated all the pieces rather than doing it mm. and then having to dig it out. Mm -hmm. All right, I will okay. entertain a motion to adjourn at 6.54. I will make that motion. Second. I'll second it. Any discussion? Hearing none, no. all in favor? Aye. 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 We're Thank out of you, here. everyone. Early meeting tonight. Early?